Hi everyone. Welcome back to Sun Arts. If you're new, welcome to the family. Today's video would be all about summer themed DIYs, so I chose pineapple. Let's start with DIY number 1. This is one of the pineapple water bottle that I got from Dollar Tree and it also lights up when you press button and I am going to paint the base of this pineapple with this white chalk paint first to get like a nice coverage and then I'm gonna let it dry while that is drying I just took two of these green shades and I mixed it up and I'm painting the top part of the pineapple the green part and after this white uh, paint dried up on the pineapple I'm just painting this bright yellow paint and I let it dry and I didn't like that green so I'm just darkening it up with some more dark green and I let that dry and intermittently I'm just doing both together after I got the desired color I'm just taking the white chalk paint and I'm dry brushing all over it yeah this step gives like a nice store bought look so this is how it looks and I am liking it so far so I'm also going to give like a nice tassel to it this would be like quickly easy these green beads I got from Dollar Tree and I took one of this jute cord and I just circle it around the pineapple and to those ends I'm inserting these green beads and I'm knotting one or two times just like that and this is how it looks after they are knotted down I just want to remove the excess cord I'm just going to cut down and this is how it looks after it's completely done and this looks like a nice pineapple decor and i wanted to start with this uh, cute summer decor with this pineapple and this is something that uh, i made all from dollar tree items and i'm very much happy with the end look so i hope you would like it as well please let me know your thoughts sir. This video will be part of Hello Summer collab and this is hosted by Tammy over Rustic Willow and Ellie over DIY from House to Home and Charlene being the guest host from Crafty Art Shack. I'm going to link the crafting channels of these creative ladies in my description box as well as the playlist of all the creators. So please watch and enjoy and give lots of love to all of us. So let's move on to DIY number two. For this day why I got this one of the wooden um, pineapple sign, actually a picture frame. I'm going to paint this uh, with white. Actually, by painting white one layer, the yellow color looks more brighter. That's what I learned from, you know, working with all these art projects. So I'm going to coat one layer of this uh, white chalk paint all over it. And after it is dried, I'm going to paint the top part of the pineapple with the same green paint mixture. And I'm going to paint the base of the pineapple as we discussed the yellow paint that I used in the earlier project. And uh, I'm going to, you know, gently get like one layer of this paint gives like a nice bright color. This is what I was talking about. And one layer was enough, I would say. And I took one of this uh, black marker and i'm highlighting the leaves and also i'm going to highlight inner part and outer part of the pineapple and before that i just also gave like one dry brushing of white chalk paint to give like a nice look there and i reverse this uh, white sheet that comes in the picture frame and i wanted to work on this white surface by applying some of this summer themed stickers so i carefully chose some that looks nice and they go well together so i chose one of this hibiscus and pink sunglasses and you know some of this coconut drink so i'm like i said i'm just highlighting the inner part to show those you know the stickers to look bright and beautiful so this is what i was talking about i also highlighted uh, the inner uh, stickers as well to give you know a nice pop-up look and yeah this is one of it and uh, i like it so please let me know your thoughts on this as well so let's move on to diy number three for this DIY, we are going to repurpose one of the sign that I use for strawberry. And I'm going to use this cute 
funny looking pineapple uh, you know mdf uh, piece that came with uh, another diy and i painted the back part with this uh, white chalk paint first and i'm doing the same thing i'm painting the green paint for the top part of the pineapple and yellow for the base and you see that that's got a funny uh, shape to it so i wanted to give also a a nice smiley so i'm also giving like a nice hair structure there like a haircut for the pineapple and the yellow paint like you see and i also wanted to brighten the green paint i didn't like the light shade of that green so i'm going to paint with this darker green uh, to get like a nice bright leaves there and after this paint dries this is how it looks now i'm going to take this black marker and i'm drawing you know eyes and cute eyebrows and i'm sorry cute eyelashes and a cute smile so this is what i was talking about i wanted to give like a cute smiley because this pineapple looks like a little funny so i'm also drawing the outer structure of the pineapple and the haircut with this black marker and i'm also dry brushing with this white chalk paint and i'm going to show how it's gonna look after all the decorations are done this is how it looks as of now now i took one of this uh, um, flat wooden bead uh, it comes in a garland that i had uh, in my uh, stash from a long time so i'm taking a little bit of a hot glue and i'm sticking to this uh, shadow box and on top of it i'm taking another you know dab of a hot glue and i'm sticking on top of this bead just like that now i wanted to also give like a nice uh, letters that reads like summer there and these are some of these wooden letters that i got from dollar tree and i'm just carefully taking a little bit of a hot glue and attaching the summer there but i decided to you know show up a little higher so i basically stuck on top of the shadow box just like that and i made sure those letters are equally spaced out you can see that and this is one of the cute summer shadow box sign that i love it and i'm so happy with this project so i hope you would like it as well Let's move on with DIY number four. For this DIY, I got one of this wooden board that I got from Dollar Tree long time back. So I thought I will use this and I'm just going to use the back part of it. To remove the sticker, I just applied a layer of water and after it soaked up, I just scra you know, scraped it down. So I also gave like a white coat of uh, one coat of white chalk paint. I think it took like two coats to get like a nice coverage then i'm also taking some of this confetti pieces which has pineapples i just took like uh, two pineapples and, and i'm painting yellow and for the green also to the top and this is one of the pineapple luggage tag so this has got like a nice uh, 3d uh, surface to this pineapple part so i just you know used a ma black marker to highlight the design and i'm also using this uh, dry brushing with this white chalk paint and rubbing off the excess so that gives like a nice um, you know pineapple look there so after this board dried i'm actually taking this uh, green gingham ribbon that i got from dollar tree and it's lying in my stash from a long time so i thought like this would be a good idea to use for this pineapple decor as yellow and green are the theme of the colors today and i'm just taking a little bit of a hot glue all around this board and i'm attaching the ribbon on three corners and i'm going to leave out the base because that won't be visible now this is how it looks after the ribbon is attached so now i'm going to take this uh, pineapple pieces and i'm going to arrange just like that and using a little bit of a hot glue i'm going to stick this pineapple luggage tag in the center and those two pineapple confetti pieces on the either side uh, with the help of hot glue just like that now i am also planning to put a bow but i was also worried that the bow will actually take away the beauty of the pineapple so i went with this um, 
a baker's twine i was thinking to use green or yellow so i went with yellow because it was looking better <laughs> so i just you know circulated that uh, two or three times and i knotted it down just like that and i thought that that is enough for this diy and yeah what do you think i think i like this look so yeah this is one of the beautiful pineapple decor and i'm very much happy with the end result i hope you would like it as well please let me know your thoughts Let's move on to DIY number 5. For this DIY, I'm going to use this burlap fabric that I have in my stash. You can also use uh, one of this burlap ribbon that's available in Dollar Tree. And I just cut down into 5 pieces with, with some ducktailing in the base to give like a nice flag look there. And I'm going to create a garland out of that. These are some of this wooden pineapple pieces that I got from Dollar Tree. And they're already yellow, so I'm also I'm only going to cover the leaves with this green paint and I'm gonna let it dry. And I also gave like a nice dots on it to give like a thorn part of the pineapple. So after they all dried, I just took a little bit of a hot glue and, and I'm sticking in the center of this uh, burlap flag. And I took four pieces of this green gingham ribbon and I'm just taking a little bit of a hot glue and I'm trying to give like a nice bow effect there. And this is how it looks after all this ribbon and this pineapples are stuck to this burlap flags as a garland. And uh, isn't that pretty? I love the look of those pineapples and those green um, gingham ribbon in the center so yeah this is one of the cute pineapple decor i'm very much happy with i hope you would like it as well so let's move on to the next diy diy number six for this diy i'm going to take some of this uh, uh, same pineapple wooden piece and i'm going to paint the top part with the green paint actually i use green marker this time and uh, some of this other confetti pieces on either side of the pineapple i also have this cute palm tree and uh, cute flamingos i'm just decorating you know where it looks nice and this is how i actually gave like a nice dots onto the pineapple just like that and this was already uh, painted with green and i also had a green uh, gingham bow already because i used for another diy in the past so i just you know attached some of these confetti pieces and added to the collection today i won't even call this a diy it's a quick hack i would say and yeah this is one of the cute decor that goes well with all the collection today so let's move on to diy number seven for this diy i'm going to take one of this picture frame which has like nice white background it's exactly in a square shape so i wanted to put one of this uh, beautiful pink um, napkin which has got white stripes that screams for summer i just loved that background so i just cut down one piece of this uh, napkin and for the inner part what i did was i attached a glass on top of the glass i'm just taking this uh, um, the inner um, lining that comes with it i'm just going to repurpose it by reversing it so i can get the white surface just like that i'm just taking a little bit of the glue stick all over this glass surface and i attached this white paper on top of this i gave like another glue surface layer and i stuck this pink napkin now i'm taking one of this beautiful napkin i just cut down the portion where it's with the pineapple and also say summer vibes and i carefully stuck in the center of this frame using a dab of actually generous amount of mod podge and i also gave one coat of mod podge on top and this is one of the cute yellow ribbon that i got in my stash this is also from dollar tree and i created a cute bow and i just pinched in the center and i'm attaching a little bit of a hot glue to give like a nice cute bow and i also duck tail uh, in the beginning itself so i don't have a hard time you know 
cutting after the bow is made so this is something that i learned by practice so i just took a little bit of hot glue and stuck it to the top of the frame just like that and i also took some of this greenery pieces on either side of the bow using hot glue i just stuck it and i also took one of this baby's breath uh, flower in the center to finish the look and this is such a cute uh, summer pineapple decor that i wanted to add with all this collection today isn't that quick and easy and also looks like something you can buy in the store right so i'm very much happy with it so please let me know your thoughts so let's move on to diy number eight but this day i actually call this as a hack and this is one of the cute pineapple tray that i got from dollar tree and this is also the paper cutouts that i got from dollar tree as well so i'm going to use the reverse part of this and on to the ridges i just generously gave like a hot glue layer and i stuck this pineapple paper sticker on top of it and this looks like a cute pineapple decor that you can place in your kitchen or any room so this is one of the cute summer pineapple decor and i am happy with it so please let me know your thoughts on this too so let's move on to diy number nine i promise this would be the last one and this one also will be a quick hack i just took one of this white cemented candle holder and one of this uh, another candle holder which looks like a flower and i stuck both together and this looks like a nice cute pineapple isn't it that's how it looks to me so i'm going to call it as pineapple so yeah this is one of the cute decor that i wanted to add to all the collection today i hope you would like it as well please let me know your thoughts These are some of my social media handles if you'd like to connect with me. So this is the final reveal of all the DIYs today you guys. I am so very happy with all the summer collection of pineapple decor DIYs and I wanted to do only few but I saw pineapple in every piece that I could make decor so I just ended up being nine decor DIYs or maybe hacks some of them are hacks I would say and yeah these are all some of the beautiful DIYs that I'm very much happy with I hope you enjoyed watching and working along with me and if you like any of these ideas and you would like to join the family I'd be more than happy if you click on the subscribe button and join the family and please don't forget to hit on the bell icon for me to get updates when I make videos like this and I want to take a minute to thank all of you for the kindest support that you've been giving towards my channel i am very grateful thank you thank you so much you guys now i'm going to stop talking and i will let you enjoy the final reveal and if you want to see some of my videos until next time i'm going to tag some in the right corner of the screen and like i always say thank you so much for watching today and i'll see you again